Colin Wilson P here. Um, we're going to go over a few of our products today, um, try and answer some questions you guys might have about how to use them, what to use, uh, what to keep from your Mark I, what to keep from your Mark IV, and make it a little simpler for you to get started on your project and even finish it up. Uh, most of the work we will be doing on this 80 uh, Rabbit truck, uh, we are putting a pump deuce in it, um, but it will be applicable to any four cylinder um, water cooled swap that you would put into a Mark I. Um, so you should see quite a bit of it. So we're going to go over some of our mounts and parts today. Um, these will be coming with um, the Mark I to Mark IV integration kit. Um, we've already pressed this mount in, you can order it that way, but uh, this is the direction you want your rubber mounts to be facing. If it's poly, you'd want to turn this 180 degrees so that you have less rubber above center line. Next are two uh, different versions for your O2A to O2J um, Mark I integration. Uh, we have it with a cable stop for cable clutch um, and without for your hydro clutch. Comes with your rear bracket included, all the hardware. Um, we'll show you how to install it here in just a minute. With your cable clutch, you're going to have to delete the reverse switch, which we provide a little threaded fitting to go into where the reverse switch was. Um, if you have an O2A, the reverse switch is way up on the tower. It's not needed, um, but this is just for an O2J tower. Uh, now your transmission mount will clear, and you can install your cable clutch. Hydraulic clutch, still same process. Um, you can keep your reverse switch if you want, or you can still delete it however you want to, uh, to install it. Um, rear transmission mount here, you can use these three bolts, three tunnel nuts, three jam nuts. Um, we have back on this uh, two, two stainless bolts to go through with uh, locking nuts. But all those are provided with our kit. As far as installing on your transmission, um, we've already installed two of these nuts down here so you can see. We'll run this one in. Once the bolt starts to get just through the bracket, I usually take and start the tunnel nut and then run the bolt rest of the way through. I'll hold it still. Once it's snug, Since this is threaded on this side of the transmission, um, the bolt needs to be snugged against this side of the case and then you're going to have to snug the tunnel nut itself. So, press the tunnel nut down. These need to be tight because this is what is going to keep your transmission from falling out of your car when you accelerate. And we put the nylon jam nut on. You should be able to run it on with a ratchet or impact like so. Next, we'll go over the linkage uh, that we offer. Um, it's used with your original Mark I uh, linkage from the tunnel forwards. And then we provide um, some replacement rods and bushings uh, to actually use the O2J um, transmission in a without the cables. Um, there's two different linkage types on the transmissions for O2Js. One has a pin 
style, which comes later, like 2002 and up. And then the one we like to use actually has uh, ball seats on it, um, on both the shift weight and the uh, vertical lever. If you can get one with the ball seats, it will snap right onto our fittings and provide you with a little less um, fabrication. And it will snap on uh, like so. If you can't find uh, if you can't find the ball seat one, you can drill out uh, the pin style fittings, and we provide these studs and all of our fittings here, and you can um, nut and bolt them through. And use those. Uh, same with the O2As. The O2As don't have any uh, snap-on fittings at all. You have to use these ball seats. You also must attach um, from your O2O, you'll find this contraption on your differential. And if you're installing your linkage kit, you want to install this with the top bolt of our bracket. And so um, you'll, you'll take this apart, put our bolt in, and then install this um, pivot onto your new O2J transmission.